A little bit of a different way to intro this vlog. Happened to be out of town visiting the grandparents. This actually used to be their farm back behind us here and they sold it off in the last year to downsize because they had like a six bedroom house and there's only three people living in it. They sold the farm, moved into town. All that being said though, this is uh, the part that they kept. They kept five acres up at the front by the road there. Just so my grandpa can, you know, play with his toys, his tractors and dig a pond apparently and bush hog and just like, you know, guy stuff. He wants to still be able to do and he doesn't just want to be in town. So we're gonna check this out. He's working on a small pond right now. Ordinarily, I wouldn't do this as an intro because we're like on a little weekend vacation getaway thing. I thought, you know, what the heck? Let's show them what we got going on. I got my camera, so let's do it. I actually took the Escalade all the way up to the back of the field up there. I'm telling you, four wheel drive, it's a dream. There's his Al Chalmers WD-45, loves that tractor. And if you talk to him about tractors, he's just going to basically hammer on you for not owning an Alice Chalmers. If you don't own an Alice Chalmers, he loves his Alice Chalmers tractors. And then he's got this uh, backhoe. The thing is old. I thought he said it was a 60s model. I could be wrong. I thought he said it was an early or mid 60s model. He's got a natural spring that pops out of the ground over here and they've always held water down in here. Um, but for the first time, he's actually just gonna dig a pond. You can see the progress so far. It's not gonna be huge. It's just gonna be like for looks and in case they wanna put some fish in there or something, uh, but nothing crazy. It's not like it's gonna be a, you know, this massive elaborate pond. It's just gonna be something that's just big enough to where you can sit by it and watch the fish or something. So we'll see. Freaking goats. A couple days later, the actual video that I was taking with my grandpa's tractor, turns out the tractor itself is actually a Ford, just a Massey Ferguson loader. We are actually at my uncle's place and I was gonna show you guys some of the cool stuff around here because I'm currently unable to show you stuff around my house because that's not where we're at right now. I'm not really gonna be filming like around the entire area just because I don't want anybody knowing exactly what their house looks like and the location and any of that kind of stuff. Okay, okay, well, um, nice. Um, so here is one of his tractors, and this is actually a newer one. This isn't really the one I was gonna show you, but it's just a John Deere 440R. But this is the one I thought a lot of you might find kind of cool. So this is actually a John Deere 730 diesel, and it's, I believe it's a two-cylinder tractor, and I feel like I've heard him say that many, many times. And it's actually really cool. I mean, it's cool. It's an actually, pretty darn good shape other than there's like one dent in the emblem in the front but other than that the tractor's in really good shape he's had this one for a really long time now i think he bought it about i want to say close to 20 years ago i mean he, he doesn't use it a lot recently but it's a pretty neat old tractor i just thought i would show you guys this because i know that there's some tractor fans out there and they're always into seeing some cool old stuff that's a little bit hard to come by and I'm actually not fully aware on how hard these things are to find in really good shape or if they're like a dime a dozen and they're everywhere, I don't know. All I know is he always jokes around. He's like, oh, you should show your guys this stinking John Deere 730. That's a freaking hard to find tractor. Always joking around about ha ha, like, it, you know, it's so cool. Maybe he's being sarcastic, I don't know. I would start it up but uh, he's not here right now and I don't know if he has any tricks to getting this thing to run. Or as my grandpa would say, every John Deere owner has to keep a chain in the toolbox because it needs pulled by an Alice Chalmers to get started. But that's actually it for this barn. I actually kind of forgot that he recently just sold all of his tractors and hay equipment. So that's the only two that he has in here at the time. Our 1997 OBS Power Stroke giveaway. This truck right here, if you have not seen it yet, is up for grabs and you have the option between the 16 by 10 wheels in the Nittle mud train tires or the 24 by 14 American Force wheels. Anyways, the truck comes with $5,000 cash. You get your option between the wheels. And right now, every $1 is 20 entries to win, which essentially means every nickel is an entry. And not only that, but every single one of the orders placed at lnpgear.com is also gonna get cash in their order. It's an awesome time to enter. It's the best time to enter. And that giveaway is ending in 48 hours. So if you wanna get in, it's ending in 48 hours, then it is gone. Next part of the video is this Thurgen. A lot of you guys have seen this if you watched the videos a while back. It's been a little while now since I showed this truck, but it is a 2008 67 Cummins six-speed 
manual. And it's freaking super, super clean. Frame has never been coated up with anything. That's literally the original frame coating and paint. Nothing has been painted on it. Nothing's been covered up. WeatherTech mats. I mean, so the carpet's perfect. It's got the stick. It is deleted. What, did I show you the mileage on this thing? 58,214 miles. And he actually said that he would sell this truck and it kind of got me thinking, I don't need another third gen right now, but would you guys be interested in seeing a third gen 6.7 Cummins build with a six speed anytime soon? Because if you would, he said he would sell me this truck. It's not gonna be cheap, but he said he would sell it. And it does have a couple little flaws. I mean, even 58,000 mile trucks will have flaws. It's got a couple little chips here. Got a little ding here, a little ding here, a little chip here, but I do know a really, really good paint guy, luckily. It was never driven in the salt, so none of the bed rails are rotted, none of the fenders are rotted out underneath, nothing like that. And it is running an MBRP exhaust with a small muffler below the bed. And some things that he had done to the truck was the touchscreen system, but he also had a reverse camera put in. He had cab lights installed on the truck professionally with them on that because if you ask me cab lights just seems so fitting on a heavy duty pickup truck but that's pretty much it I didn't have a lot for you guys today and just kind of keeping it short and sweet um, but like I said in the beginning of the video OPS giveaway ends in just 48 hours if you want to get entered to win that I wouldn't waste any time because it is going to be ending soon and one of you are going to take home that truck plus five thousand dollars cash and every single one of you guys are going to get cash in those orders so don't waste any time thank you guys so much leave a like on this video comment down below subscribe if you're new I'll catch you guys in the next video peace